Good afternoon, Stridesians. Is that a word? People, humans of Earth. And if you're not from this Earth, you're also welcome. It is Thursday, September 14th, 4.53 p.m. and about 19 degrees Celsius. And I'm here in Yorkdale Park. Marge is here. She is first. Vivian Johnson's here. Sheen is here. Michael Nguyen's here. Hello. Hope you are all having an awesome Thursday afternoon. Stephen Collins is here, Shivlin is here. That's a view of Yorkdale subway station. And right next to Yorkdale Mall. And that is me <laughs> walking in front of your shot. Nathan is here. Christos is here. Good morning from Japan. And yes, I am still rocking the minimalist shoes. I'm going to start looking into getting a more serious pair. Mark D is here. BC Transportation is here. Oh, that was by Torian from Japan. I couldn't read your name on my phone very well. So for this one, I'm going to waddle my way south. Hey, there's an interesting plane. Down to Eglinton West State. That will be our destination. It's giving us a little air show. LH is here. Thank you, Sheena. I made them myself. There I am, rocking the fresh dew. I got a haircut this afternoon. Then I came out and recorded what I think is a pretty interesting video. I'm quite happy with how it turned out, even though it wasn't my favorite subject material. So in a minute, once we've got a few more people gathered, I'm going to start walking. Maybe we'll head south here. Because I just walked through the mall. And this road here really just leads alongside the mall. It's nothing special or particularly interesting. So we are in what used to be North York. I guess it still is. It's an administrative zone. Highway 401 is just there, the busiest freeway in North America. And there is the Allen Road, which I am so grateful that we're not calling it the Spadina Expressway, as that truly would have been an abomination. And that runs from just north of here, just north of Wilson, and it goes south down to Eglinton West. So basically, I'm walking the route of the Allen, but we're not going to do it directly. And you can see a northbound train pulling into the station there, uh, or a southbound pulling in as a northbound pulls out. All right, 79 viewers. We've spent four minutes in this park accomplishing nothing. Let me get my backpack on. And we're going to head south. That's the Lawrence Heights neighborhood straight ahead. I don't think I'm going to cut through that area. Jellybean says, did I go to a wood bridge? No, I didn't. Shivlin had an accident. Hope all is well. Nathan loves the, if you can read this, you should be on the TTC sides near Eglinton West. I've done a few videos up this way before. That is Yorkdale Mall just over there. It's been some time though. I think the last time I was here was last year. So 
So we're gonna head over to Dufferin and maybe take Lawrence over to Marley and then maybe I'll take Marley down to Eglinton West. Very appropriate to be riding that through a park. <laughs> Jenna A is here. Hello, Jenna A. So we have reached whatever street this is. I am forgetting that name. You can access Yorkdale subway station just over there. So the next major road to the north of here is Wilson. And to the south is Lawrence. And if I really wanted to, since I'm heading to Marley, I could go south here and cut through Lawrence Heights. That'll take me straight there pretty much. Let me just figure something out on my phone here. It keeps buzzing at me. But this is Rainy Avenue. So we're gonna walk along Rainy over to Dufferin. Kind of a fast moving residential street traffic wise. Things are gonna be a bit busier on Dufferin. We'll be there in a few minutes. Basically we have to walk the length of Yorkdale Mall to get there, pretty much. Brian says, today is the 14th. It is. Did I get that wrong in the description? By the way, if you see any ads popping up during the stream, let me know. Because I'm pretty sure I've got them disabled. And we're already well over 100 viewers. Thank you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, yada yada. If you're watching this on the replay, and you're not entirely enthralled by this area. I guess that would be the word. Skip ahead a few minutes. I don't think I've ever walked along the street, along this section of it. Pretty sure that guy just roared right through a stop sign. <laughs> As does that BMW. The only reason that Mercedes behind him stopped was because I was crossing. Ethereum. I don't know what upsets me more, the Blue Jays pulling defeat from the jaws of victory or the fact that you put Aaron Rodgers on your fantasy team. Ethereum 398, thank you so much. I'd be much more upset about the Blue Jays. You could go pick up Brock Purdy, maybe get an Anthony Johnson, maybe pick up one of these young tight ends like Luke Musgrave, then when they go off, package them up and trade them for a quarterback.
you have the power to fix that. But what you don't have the power to do is tell the Blue Jays to smarten the F up. I watched a video on what a strange season Vlad Guerrero's having. He's having one of the weirdest seasons in MLB history. By all metrics, he should be smashing it. There's Rainy Park. I wonder if I could have cut across that from the mall. Virginia Wedlake, $10 super chat. Thank you, Virginia Wedlake. Thank you so much. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you, Serum. The Blue Jays aren't left for dead, but once you slip out of a playoff spot, you're kind of at the mercy of everyone else and you have to play your ass off. I mean, ideally they win this series and don't give up home field or don't give up the tiebreaker to the Rangers, but too late for that. But they're not even gonna get a split. All right, maybe in my mind, I underestimated how close we were to Dufferin. Jonathan says the fresh air is improving my mood and energizing me. Usually it's the lack of motorists trying to mow me down. Although I did almost get smoked by someone on an e-bike in the video I just recorded. Sirium says not being in control of your own destiny is not a good place to be, but fantasy-wise, you're still in the driver's seat. What if Aaron Rodgers just had a mediocre season? You'd rather lose him this way than be tempted to play him on and off throughout the season. I'd much rather one of my top draft picks get hurt than become an inconsistent bum. David Schneider will save us. He is having the greatest offensive start to a Major League Baseball career in the history of Major League Baseball. I mean, statistically, he's also had one of the luckiest starts. His balls are finding his balls, his batted balls are finding grass at a very high rate. But still, kudos to him. Hey, look, civilization. It only took us 13 minutes to walk from Yorkdale Park to Dufferin Street. So from here, we're gonna go south down to Lawrence. How much does Vladdy will wake up? Batista wasn't good until late in his career. Yeah, but Vladdy was one of the biggest prospects in Blue Jay history. I think he's just gonna make a few swing adjustments. There's a look north, and there, that's where a famous old deli used to be, Katz's Deli. And they moved because they're, or they closed down because that building was supposed to be redeveloped. And it still hasn't been redeveloped. There's still a development notice in front of it. So this area lost an iconic business. Just up on the right is Orphis Road. That's well known for shopping. There's a lot of big outlet stores. That's where Byway was supposed to make its big comeback. They leased out the space, they had the signs up and everything, but the guy heading up that project passed away and I don't think they ever went ahead with it. If Ken Continuum ever goes missing, definitely check all the burrito boys. That just says horrible traffic. I think it was called Katz's Deli. What was the name of that deli? Maybe someone can correct me on that one. I 
almost had it in near Miss Japanese Korean restaurant, Yu Ki. You know you are in suburbia when there is parking in front of plazas. Yeah, that deli is now a, a value buds. And where those condos are going up, at one time, it was a Holiday Inn hotel. Marge says it was cats. Oh, my connection's dipping here. Come on, Rogers, pull it up. There we go, it went up a little bit. So my last live stream ended when the software froze. And I talked to Henry from Toronto Tech and Transit. And he said him and some other streamers were having trouble with it freezing, usually after an hour and a half of streaming. So that's what happened, but an update came out last night. I updated the software. Hello, Valerie. We are going south on Dufferin, in between the 401 and Lawrence Avenue. Am I going to take in <laughs> some gummies later? No. And Marge says Playtime Bowl is on Orphis Road. There's not too many of those big old school bowling alleys. left anymore. There's plenty of smaller hipster ones popping up. There's a big red lobster. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to keep going south on Dufferin to Eglinton then over to west or do you want to go down Marley? I think Marley will be a much quieter route, actually. In my mind, it sounded good. Now that I'm on a more major street, seems a little better maybe to stick to Dufferin. I don't know. And that'll take us through Little Jamaica on Eglinton West. Here's the new haircut if you missed it earlier in the stream. And this is my microphone tugging my shirt down. Jelly Bean has not been to that Red Lobster. Raja says south. Sirium says let's go to Marley. Well, Sirium's vote counts for two out of sympathy for Losing Aaron Rodgers. Zach McNally votes south. Is there still a Red Lobster on the atrium on Bay? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Oh yeah, it's happy birthday to Harjot. Long time viewer, Harjot. Isn't that the bowling alley over there, Marge, on Samor? I think I see a giant bowling pin. I think that might be it. Fantasy for tonight's game, says Alejandra. I do have some involvement in tonight's game. Let's see, on team, my second team, which is in first place Thursday night. Let me check the matchups here. I should know this off the top of my head by now. I have Dallas Goddard. Someone's trying to talk to me. Janet Thompson, 279. Thank you, Janet Thompson. Thank you so much. I have 
Thank you again, Janice. I have Dallas Goddard going tonight, who put up a goose egg last night. He's normally a very good, consistent tight end. And my opponent has, well, he's got some players on the bench going. He's got Jake Elliott kicking. And that's, and he's got Devonta Smith. Some of you are saying, what the heck is he talking about? And on my other squad, my long, long, long time team, maybe I should say long a few more times, I've got Hawkinson, the tight end, going. So both of my tight, end, tight ends are going tonight, Hawk and Goddard. With Alcosta's, why does this area look so suburban? Because it is. One thing, back there I hit a bit of a connection snag. Normally I stream at 6,000. KBPS, but right now my connection seems locked in at 4,500. I think that's a bug with the software I use. Hopefully the connection is good on your end, but it might not quite look as crisp at this bit rate. Marge, $5. Sorry for my Orphis Road Samor goof. It won't happen again. LOL. Thank you, Marge. And it better not happen again. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Marge. And George, 50 Mexican pesos towards the IPA fund. Thank you so much for the 50 Mexican pesos. And thank you, Marge. And this, I think, is kind of fascinating. There used to be a building just like this, just north of Young and Eglinton, that had a Gamerama in it. It had an EB Games. It had a sports bar, which later became a Korean fusion bar called the Korean Cowboy that was excellent. But it got torn down for a new development and I was so sad to see it go. I thought it was such a unique design. As a way to sort of get double the retail frontage in a building, but it's got a fatal flaw. And you might notice it is not accessible. There's no ramps. And even if there were ramps, that would still be annoying. So I was so sad to see that one go on Eglinton. Hey, the one on Eglinton had a subway too. I really thought it was kind of neat and unique. But sadly, it is no more, but it might be for the best. But in that building that went in that spot, a Scotia Bank is there, a big Dollarama is there, and an Alouette Go is there. So a lot of interesting retail was replaced by two giant corporations. But the Alouette Go is pretty good. There's a place called Divine Spine. Oh, these buildings on the left here mean we are almost at Lawrence Avenue. Ricky was here about two years ago now. GB Golden Bee Homes. <laughs> that looks so much like a cannabis shop, doesn't it? Does that look like a honey pot? Uh, just says, is this still Dufferin? Yes, it is. Jonathan says, I'm streaming my walk home. No, I am not going home. I'm going to go to Eglinton West 
and I'm going to hop on the station and head downtown. Mike Landry, $3. Thank you, Mike Landry. Greetings, Mike. Hope all is well. Of course, I'm wearing a long sleeve t-shirt. And I easily could have worn just a regular t-shirt. So I think we're all tied on votes in terms of, am I gonna go south at Dufferin or over to Marley? Syrium voted for Marley, but there are a few votes to stay south. What are we doing? Are we sticking to Dufferin? <sighs> Usually when you see that sort of thing, you just assume they're stolen or one of them is. That guy didn't give off bike stealing vibes. Alejandro says Dufferin. Any chance we'll get a morning stream someday? I've done morning streams about once a month. It looks like Suffering Dufferin is winning. I apologize, Sirium. I guess nothing's going your way. Aaron Rodgers, the Jays, now this stream. But we're gonna head south down to Eglinton, and then east to Eglinton West Station. And I'm gonna get my ass onto a train. Was it on Dufferin or was it on Bathurst up here? On one of these streets, I remember, there was like a cookie shop just down here on the left I went into. And I ordered a bunch of cookies. But my brain is failing me. I guess we'll find out. Alejandro says, avoid bees. Blaming the, the bee for the death of my last live stream. There's a look east along Lawrence. We'll have to come back and stream Lawrence at some point. We're doing the strode thing today. Janet Thompson, 699, I've been following for a while and so appreciate your channel, thanks. You're very welcome and thank you as well, Janet Thompson. I'm glad you appreciate the channel. Speaking of which, let's see where this subscriber count is. 94,614. Thank you guys. Although Ken is certainly making a, <laughs> a strong charge. And Henry's doing really well. A lot of Toronto tubers are doing well these days. It's good to see. Wasn't a Ken Continuum stream also killed by bees <laughs> recently? I don't know about that. Alex, thank you for subscribing. As we head south down the east side of Dufferin, I have a feeling this isn't going to be a particularly long stream at this rate. We're going to be over an hour, but not too much over an hour. There's an outdoor furniture store. Yeah, I think that cookie store was either just up here on the left Oh, donuts! Eat cops hot donuts! There it is! Man, my memory is ass! I went into this place and he ordered donuts the last time I streamed down here. Cops donuts.
do I do it? Oh my God, it smells so good. But uh, I'm going to say no. Oh, that is so tempting. It's getting hot. I've been walking for quite a while as so I just recorded a video before this. So I am going to pull out the bubbly. That was hard. I remember those donuts were amazing. Reached into my bag and we've got a blackberry buble. Nice and refreshing. There will be no bubbly mukbang on this. Hello, Mr. Mountain Hiker. Ran into you on the last stream. Baby says just finished a walk around Humber Bay. It was getting quite warm in the sun. That was an alternate location I thought of for this stream. I was torn between coming up to Wilson and making the video that I did then doing this stream or going to the Queensway and then streaming around Humber Bay. But I did a stream around there more recently than one on this stretch in this area, so I opted for this one. You're going to miss out on me eating a donut. Don't worry, I <laughs> don't do the mukbang thing. I think eating on camera is kind of gross, at least with the camera facing me. Hey, we've got racing buses. The 29 on the left, the 929 on the right. Which bus is gonna get here first? Place your bets now. The light's about to change. I'm saying the the non-express bus wins. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, and that turning car gave the non-express an advantage. And the non-express kicks the ass of the express bus. If you voted or bet on the express bus, You lose. Look at all these votes coming in for the express bus. Charlie Bean says this is a good short. <laughs> Maybe. Now oh, Ezra says left. I think that might have been a unicorn situation, but if we come across that again, oh, once again, open up the betting lines. They were both extended articulated buses too. Nadal Costa's so mukbang eats on, means to eat on camera. Yeah, I was talking to my hairdresser today about mukbang. She asked me <laughs> when I'm older if I'm gonna write a book about my life. I said, no. And then she said, do you do mukbang? I was like, no. Dahlia, where am I? We are south on Dufferin Street. South of Lawrence, making our way down to Eglinton and to Little Jamaica, and then it's gonna be over to Eglinton West. And look at this bus frequency on Dufferin. There's already another regular articulated bus. That's three buses that have rolled by. in very short order.
and we've got a Dairy Queen. Mr. Mountain Hiker says they always beat the buses when biking in the city. Not just buses, but most cars as well, I bet. Okay, this pickup truck's just gonna force his way through. Lady York Foods. So we saw a Dairy Queen, which you don't see a whole lot of anymore. And there's a Mr. Sub across the street. And an old school car wash. Columbus Bakery, City Fish Market, Dufferin Meat Market. I always like looking at the stores in these areas. It's nice when there hasn't been a full-scale corporate takeover. There's Mr. Sub on the right. Again, my bitrate seems to be locked in at 4,500. Which on a phone won't make much difference, but if you're watching on a big screen, I apologize for the slight dip in quality. Again, I think that's a bug with the streaming software. He says it's an Italian area, a lot of mom and pa stores. There's a bakery and pastry shop across the street. Good day, Garth. We are heading to Eglinton West Station. We started up near Yorkdale Mall at Yorkdale Park. Market, European Bakery and Deli. We should be coming up upon the York Beltline Trail. Not too far south of here. Laundromat. Am I taking the subway? After the stream, I'll be taking the subway. So hopefully they fix the bug in the streaming software, but if it's lights out and the stream dies, that's probably what did it in. That's what killed the last stream, unfortunately. But I was at the end anyways. I streamed for like three minutes before I even noticed that it was dead. I crossed the street, 
I'm, I wasn't paying attention to my phone screen because I'm, you know, trying not to get run over. And then I just started blabbing about something while not looking at the screen. It wasn't until I watched the replay that I realized it died way before I knew it ended. Oops. Always an indication of a classy restaurant when LLBO is in the side. Taverns and bars always used to have that. Not too many places identify as a tavern these days. That seems to have gone the way of the dodo. Hello, Marques. Hello, Claudia. I got your member's video re request, Claudia. Thank you for that. I'll get back to you in the coming days. Just have to check something here. Mr. Mountain Hiker says he wish he could peek into the past to see what this area looked like in the 50s. Well, hopefully these videos stay up for people 50 years from now. And Google Street View, hopefully they keep that. That's sort of an archive as well. I find it really handy when I'm just walk around the city on my computer. I can turn Google Street, Bar, Street View back to 2007. Whenever I see a condo that's new and I'm not too familiar with what was there before, I can take a peek on Street View and I can sound like a wise guy letting you know, hey, before this condo was here, that used to be a parking lot. Two dollars. Monday to Friday and Saturday. Two fifty on Sunday. And we are a few viewers shy of three hundred. Thank you. Marcus had pineapple bubbly. Oh, I see the Beltline Trail up ahead. It's a little bit further away than I thought. Can is purple, your pants are purple. <laughs> I always try to color coordinate my sparkling water cans with viewers' pants. If El Costas was at the sun, they'd have to pay you to read it. Sun is good for two things, or at least it was good for two things. The comic section, I always found it was better than the Stars comics growing up. And the sports section.
Yeah, I know, Valerie, I used wise guy wrong. Oops. <laughs> I realized that when I was saying it. I was wondering if anyone would call me out. Yeah, had we have taken Marley, I think it would have been very different. Alejandro says the sun has conservative tastes. All the papers do. They're all owned by big conservative outlets. Don't kid yourself on that. But I think the sun got its reputation for being so poor. Because it's written at like a grade two level. I don't know, I never really gave it a chance and read it as a kid. It was just always the newspaper people would bash. Billy T says starting to look like fall. Psychic readers, uh, okay. Taste of shawarma. There is an enormous amount of people waiting at that bus stop over there. Dormo organic beds, luxury mattresses and bedding. Toronto Pho, Vietnamese eatery, torontofo.com. I wasn't already on my way to dinner. I would def want to check that place out. Good afternoon, ma'am. Word of the day says Sunshine Girl sports section and puzzles. <laughs> All right. You got me there. There's California sandwiches. Robert says you like pho or pho, but they give too much. I find a lot of places these days kind of skimp. You get a big bowl of broth, but there's not a lot of meat. On the other side, there's like a rainbow tunnel to walk through. Sarim says, is the Dufferin bus is really as bad as people make it out to be? Well, one time Dufferin was the worst road in the province. It was just pothole city and it was backed up with traffic congestion and it made for a very unpleasant ride. But I think Dufferin is still one of the more undesirable bus rides. So if you watch my streams, my last stream, when I walked south of Davisville on Young Street, we went under the Beltline Trail. This is the same Beltline Trail, an old commuter rail that lasted for two years in the late 1800s. There's a few different legs of the Beltline Trail, but they're all connected. This is the York Beltline section. The section over in Midtown is the K Gardner Beltline. And there's little plaques dotting where there used to be rail stations. An idea before it's time.
Once you pass under this bridge, everything changes its name. It's all like Narnia. Now he says we're about to walk through the Rainbow Tunnel. That's not the famous Rainbow Tunnel, though. The famous one is on the East Don Trail. You can see it from the Don Valley Expressway. Robert says Valerie, it's marketing ploy. They probably have vegan ones too. Remember when 7up advertised themselves as all natural? And their reasoning was everything they were doing was of the earth. But it was using processed sugar. They weren't even using sugar cane sugar like some of the hipster sodas do. That marketing campaign was short-lived. Stop up at the LCBO ahead and let's have a drink. I'll be having a drink with dinner soon enough. We're at 330 viewers, thank you guys. Let me refresh the old sub count. Ninety-four thousand six fifteen. I think we gained one <laughs> subscriber. Thank you. And his name was Alex. Jonathan says he can't stand being out in a weekday like this. Kudos to me for staying positive. I don't. I try to be neutral. I try to keep it real. I see something good. We talk about it. I see something bad. I talk about it. never been one to sugarcoat things but for the most part it's good today good weather had an enjoyable walk a very enjoyable chat hey there's the youth power group center you live in this area it's not bad yeah I don't think it's so bad and you're about to get I say about as if Metrolinx is ever actually going to open it, but eventually you're gonna have a crosstown LRT connection opening up just south of here. And I'll be turning east at Eglinton, then we'll be walking past the future Oakwood station and finishing right at Eglinton West. is Livingstone Avenue. I'm going to give a little wave to this driver. They did not have to wait there. Thank you for yielding. And there you can see the LRT station getting its own entrance there, sticking up out of the sidewalk. And it looks like there might be an elevator as well. That is Fairbank Station. I've criticized Metrolinx for this before, and I think it is definitely worth bringing up. But what the hell are they thinking calling this Fairbank Station? We are at Dufferin and Eglinton. Call it Dufferin North? Call it Dufferin and Eglinton? Call it Dufferin Eglinton, like Blue or Young? But Fairbank? Almost nobody in the city of Toronto knows what Fairbank is, except for people that live around this area. 
Metrolinks has totally changed the naming convention of all the stations here. And it is stupid, in my opinion. Eglinton West is being renamed to Cedarvale Station. As if there's something wrong with Eglinton West. Speaking of Eglinton, we are on Eglinton Avenue. I really think stations, if they're in a famous neighborhood, sure, but they ought to be named after the major intersection or street, just to be consistent with all the other station names. It doesn't make sense to bust out a whole new naming convention. Oh well, just a opinion of mine. You said I was being too positive, Jonathan. There we go. But it's all moot anyways, because it's not like Metrolinx can get any of these stations open. Choco Churros. So we are in a part of town known as Little Jamaica. Not officially known as Little Jamaica, but colloquially it is. It's a very underrated part of town. And there's fears that it might lose a lot of its character with an onslaught of gentrification coming in from the LRT line. That bus lane just cruising in the slapdash bike lane. There's supposed to be bike lanes continuously all along Eglinton where the LRT was built, but another oopsie by Metrolinx. They forgot to build them <laughs> when they're ripping up the street and putting a lot of locals out of business. So you'll notice there's some parts of the bike lanes on Eglinton that are very well done. They're curb separated and protected. Then there's some where there's just a line painted. Then there's a lot of stretches like this where there's nothing. The time to build that bike infrastructure would have been when they ripped up the street and inconvenienced everyone for 10 years. There's the taste of Manila. There's a lot of Caribbean businesses in the area. Jonathan says that's more like it. Well, I'm glad you find it more to your liking. Hey, is my chat frozen or are you guys? I can't see the chat moving. Let me pull the stream up on my other phone here. There, I just sent a chat. The service is currently unavailable. All right, so if you are watching, the chatting is broken at the moment. There's a kid waving. So I apologize for that. It takes a lot of the fun out of live streaming. YouTube. At least the chat seems to still be working. I, I am chatting and it says the service is currently unavailable. But we've still got 331 viewers. All right, I've got an idea. It might be a, burned, a bird brained idea. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to close the live stream and restart it. I'm not ending the live stream. If I do end it, oops. I apologize for prematurely ending the live stream, but I'm going to close. Oh, there we go. Chat coming right in the nick of time. Jonathan says it's back. I was just about to shut down the stream and resume it.
All right, we are back. Chad is back. Woo! All right, we're on chat and tests. I just got a text message saying it's working. Thank you very much. And I want to say thanks to Carl Fengler, who yesterday on one of my videos dropped a $50 super thanks. Thank you, Carl. As we go east on the north side of Eglinton Avenue East through Little Jamaica. So I wonder if it's YouTube that is throttling my my stream quality too. Because it's not quite up to what it should be. Lisa in the house. So if you're just tuning in, we started up at Yorkdale Park next to Yorkdale Mall. I walked to Dufferin and then south down to Eglinton and now we are going east to Eglinton West Station. If you heard my rant earlier, it will be renamed Cedarvale Station in a very stupid move. Sell Shepherd, $2 super chat. Thank you, Sell Shepherd. Hey, there is Freedom Mobile. I was with Freedom since 2014. Since 2014, I was with them. And they're advertising a 30 gig plan for $45. And I ported my number from Freedom to my new carrier. I had two numbers to port. I ported one from Bell and it went perfectly. And then when I ported the number from Freedom, it didn't work. I tried it like three times. So I ended up calling Freedom saying, hey, what gives? And they said, they made me wait like 20 minutes and said they were gonna put me on with a technical specialist to finish my porting, but it wasn't a technical specialist I was waiting for, it was a retention specialist. Because rather than asking me what the problem was and trying to fix it, she asked me what my new plan was. And for shits and giggles, I heard her out and they ended up offering me 100 gigs. I had 30 gigs on my plan, 30 plus like 10. And it was like 45 a month I was paying. This guy just going for it. And they offered me 100 gigs for the same price to stay with them. Like, what the hell? Alejandro says I'm on freedom because of you. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back. I just got too good a deal to turn down. Jonathan says thoughts on the new iPhone. Uh-oh, is the chat frozen again? No, oh, there we go. Lisa says I used to deal with number porting once upon a time when you worked in a call center. It's all automatic now. You literally do it through the website and then they text your old carrier. Then you reply yes to the old carrier and then like, 10 minutes later, your number changes. But Freedom, I think, borked it because they want you to talk to a retention specialist. Sal Shepard, $10. Hey, Johnny, I've been following you for a while. I just moved to Toronto from Brazil and it's crazy to see in person what I was watching through your lens. The name is Math Mathis, by the way. Thank you, Sal Shepard. I apologize if I pronounced your name incorrectly, but thank you so much for $10 and welcome to Toronto. I hope you're enjoying it. See, this station I don't think is poorly named Oakwood. I think maybe Little Jamaica would have been a better name, but Oakwood makes sense. It's right at the north end of Oakwood. It's also in Oakwood Village. Metrolinx didn't get that one wrong. Oakwood makes perfect sense for that street name or that station. And it's consistent with the rest of the network. But Fairfield, Cedarville. It's 
Serum says most times you have to port your number out with your carrier and they call you back with a crazy deal to keep you. That's what Freedom did, but. The phone I am streaming with now is now a data only SIM and I don't pay for it. It is free. And it came with a tablet, which was free. And then my main plan is 150 gigabytes, but I get $10 off of that for some reason. That's 85, and then I get 30% every month of that. So whatever $85 a month minus 35, or minus 30% is what I'm paying for my main line and my data line, all shared on one plan. And you might be thinking, if your second phone that you stream with is data only, do you no longer have a second number? Well, I have a VoIP service. So the streaming phone, I can make phone calls with it if I have to and do text messages. I can also do WhatsApp on it. I never really used it for anything other than a streaming phone anyways. So yeah, for 30% off at $85, I've got two SIM cards now sharing 150 gigs a month on 5G. I also get no roaming in the US or Mexico. My phone just works there. So that's cool. And I get five free international roaming days a year in up to 180 countries. So, I mean, I don't like Rogers. I don't like Bell. I don't like TELUS. I can't really say I even like Freedom. So I just show no loyalty and go to whichever provider gives me the best deal for what I need to do. And it just so happens it was Rogers. I'll be happy to switch away from them if something better comes my way. And we're at Marley Avenue. So when I was at Dufferin and Lawrence, I asked if I should walk over to Marley and stream south from there down to Eglinton. And a few people voted for it, but most people said stick to Dufferin. So that's what we did. Okay, we've got the 32C and the 32A. Place your bets. Which bus? The race is to the garbage bin. I think the bus on the left has an advantage because turning traffic might block the bus on the right. Which bus is gonna make it to the garbage can? Place your bets on your marks. Get set, go. Easy victory. That's twice now the curbside bus has won the race. We had an exhilarating articulated bus race on Dufferin. Yeah, here says the C between the express bus and the non-express and the non-express handedly kicked its ass. Sal says left. I guess we could do that with random cars too, but it seems more fun to do it with buses for some reason. Maybe if it was like a Corvette and a Porsche or something like that. Hey lady, how about stopping behind the line? I know it's a novel concept, but you can see just fine from behind the line. You have no need to block the crossing there. I get it if you have an obstructed view and you're trying to pull out safely into traffic, particularly if you're turning left, but her excuse was a bad driver, I guess. There you go, Jonathan. There's some more negativity for you. 
You really flipped the switch on my positivity <laughs> with that comment earlier. Roger says the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be in the lineup on the 22nd this month. You won't catch me buying that, but maybe I'll be a hypocrite. The one thing I do like about the new iPhones, at least the Pro models, is that they're lighter. I mentioned I hate the fact that they gimped the transfer speed on the 15s for no reason and the fact that the 15s only run at 60 hertz when they should be at 90 or 120. Deliberately holding back their own phone so you get nudged up the ladder and buy a Pro. Anywho, anywho <laughs> you've already heard that rant. We are, hey, look who it is. No, it's Johnny Straits. Alex gets around TO. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Welcome back to my hood. Long time no see. We got to do that collab. <laughs> I've been really busy as I just started school and uh, other personal issues, especially mental health. But no. <laughs> Matching shoes? Uh, yeah, apparently. Leafs? You should be wearing Blue Jay gear. <laughs> You're wearing a. At least that team has a chance of winning something. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, but hey. nice to see you. Well, Johnny, so where, where are you coming from? Where you, I, I, uh, we started at Yorkdale Mall, and I'm finishing right here, actually. We're right at, we're about a minute away from leaving. But this is Alex Gets Around TO, everyone. What's up, guys? And you're recording a video right now? Uh, I just decided to record myself sniping you because I have a series of uh, random Toronto clips, so... Uh, like, like, I should, like, I should, like, all things, like, randomness, like, around the city. And I already went, I already, I already went out earlier today in probably an area that you probably don't want to hear about, so. Uh, what area? Uh, starts with S. Scarborough. Yes. I, I like Scarborough. <laughs> uh, so, hey, they, they opened up the sidewalk here. Yeah, 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 that's right. So, uh, the, the whole area is just reopened up again. You know, I come, obviously, you know I come here all the time. Well, so. you live around the corner, right? Yeah, so uh, uh, they finally removed all that construction hoarding and fencing. And at night, okay, you see those two skylights right there? Um, you can actually look down and you can literally see um, what's going to be the concourse, you know, from line one oh, to line neat. five. So uh, I've, I've been paying attention to that. So... Uh, Here's the million dollar question for you. Yeah. I've already let my thoughts be known, but what do you think of renaming this to Cedarvale? <laughs> Good or bad? Uh, okay, well, as a local, I still call the area of Eglinton Cedarvale, just my opinion. But if you're in Scarborough and you're coming this way and you look at the TTC map, you, you understand what Eglinton West is. Yes. You say Cedarvale and you go, what? Same with Fairbank. Oh yeah, because I heard you're ranting about that. Yeah, like what the hell, Metrolinx? Okay, well, my opinion, I'm still going to call it Fairbank, but uh, okay, yeah. it's all right. I, th I think that should be different north. <laughs> Actually, I would... Okay, maybe I, maybe I second that. Maybe I second that. Or, or just call it Dufferin Eglinton, like Blue or Young, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. See, see, look, you go in there, you can see the signage. See, look. Oh, look. neat, yeah. I, I don't know if you can... I don't know if your phone will catch that, I but... think we're catching it. Like holy hell, we can actually we can actually see a bit of progress being made. Okay, I don't care what anybody says, but I'm confident for the next six months. Six months. That's. Like, I don't care what anybody says. It's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna say two years. Okay, fine. That's your fine. Within fine. two years. Fine. I say for the interior line, let's say the next 15 years. <laughs> so. Uh. Well, I'm going to wrap my stream up. Just give me a sec. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks to our mods. Thanks to everyone who sent support and super chats. It is much, much appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hey, it's good to see Mr. Alex gets around TO making an appearance. You can check his channel out at Alex gets around TO. He does a lot of Toronto content. And maybe we'll uh, we'll do a collab at some point. We said we would this summer, and we never got around to it. So hopefully this fall or winter. But anyways, we have reached the end. I have to get my ass on the subway.
Thank you so much, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Talk to you later, guys. Yoink.